It was a sunny afternoon in Meadowville, where three friends, Anna, a curious and imaginative girl, Max, a clever boy who loved science, and Charlie, their energetic golden retriever, played by the small pond near their neighborhood. Anna splashed her feet in the water and noticed the puddles from last week's rain had disappeared. Where did all the water go? She wondered aloud. Max looked up from skipping stones across the pond. That's a good question. It didn't just vanish into thin air, or did it? Charlie barked enthusiastically, wagging his tail as if encouraging them to investigate. They grabbed their adventure bag, filled with notebooks, pencils, and a magnifying glass. Let's figure this out, step by step, Anna declared. The first clue was a small puddle still glistening near the pond. Anna crouched beside it. This one is still here, she observed. Why do some puddles disappear faster than others? Max pointed to the sun. Maybe the sun has something to do with it. Let's test it. Experimenting with water. They ran home to grab two bowls, filled them with water, and placed one in the sunlight and the other in the shade. We'll check back in an hour, Max said, setting a timer on his watch. Meanwhile, Anna sketched a picture of the pond in her notebook, labeling it the Great Water Mystery. When the timer buzzed, they returned to the bowls. Anna gasped. The water in the sun is almost gone, but the one in the shade looks the same. That means the sun does something to the water, Max concluded. But what? To learn more, they visited Mrs. Maple, their friendly neighbor who loved gardening and always had answers to their nature questions. Mrs. Maple smiled when they explained their experiment. You're learning about evaporation, she said. When the sun heats water, it turns into invisible gas called water vapor and rises into the air. Anna's eyes widened. So the water doesn't disappear? It just changes form? Exactly, Mrs. Maple replied. That's part of the water cycle. After water evaporates, it cools and becomes clouds, then falls back to the ground as rain. It's nature's way of recycling water. Charlie barked and jumped, as if trying to join their flight. Their newfound knowledge made them look at the pond differently. They noticed the ripples from Charlie's splashes and the steam rising from the surface on a warm afternoon. Anna wrote in her notebook, The water didn't disappear. It evaporated into the air, joined clouds, and will someday return as rain. Max added, And it's the same water the dinosaurs drank millions of years ago. That's amazing, Anna said. The water cycle keeps everything alive. Science is awesome, Max said, high-fiving her. Charlie barked happily, as if agreeing. Yet, 